Hey guys, Sensei Andy here, and we're gonna take a look at how you look after your uniform when it comes to martial arts training. Now, first rule is really, really simple. You've got a new um, uniform, get yourself a bag, okay? Get yourself a training bag that you can put all your equipment in, okay? It keeps it all together, keeps everything relating to your training in one place, so you can know where everything is at all times. And as long as you um, look after things, you put things back when you're done with them, you're always gonna be ready and set for your next class. Okay, that's the first most important thing is get a bag. Okay, number two, when it comes to the uniform, make sure if you've been using uniform, it is washed, ironed, and put away straight away. Okay, very simple, very easy rule to follow. Okay, and this is great for students to understand. Okay, if you're the parent washing the uniform, once it's washed and ironed, make sure you give it to your child and get them to put it in their bag immediately. Get them to build those good, solid habits. But for parents, okay, never wash the uniforms anything over 30 degrees, okay? It helps prolong their life that, um, if we wash them at lower temperatures. And they're expensive, right? So we wanna make sure we keep them as pristine and going as long as possible. When it comes to belts, belts are actually really easy to take care of. No, you shouldn't be washing them, believe it or not, unless they get dirty. There is no reason to wash a belt. Actually washing them makes them go really, really tatty really quickly. All you need to do is either fold them up nicely or roll them into a, into a ball, okay? Not a big ball as in like a circular thing, so you just wrap them up against each other and then just place them back in the martial arts training bag. Really, really easy, right? And then lastly, we have sparring gear. How do you look after sparring gear? Good question. Now, depending on what type of sparring gear you've got, majority of them don't require much at all. You may need to wipe them down occasionally, okay? So, because obviously you may sweat in them, so using something like an antibacterial wipe is a really good way to just clean them down. Make sure it's not abrasive and not gonna damage the material. So make sure they're nice and um, ones that are, uh, the hypoallergenic ones, stuff like they're really, really good, okay? Nothing with bleach or anything like that or any cleaning products in, okay? So just make sure just standard antibacterial wipes are the best thing for it. Um, when it comes to things like boxing gloves, things like that, you may want to get the anti-stink pads that you put inside them, okay? That just brings the smell out. If you're sweating in boxing gloves a lot, they start to smell. So putting those in them stops that happening and helps you prolong the life of your products. The fact is, all martial arts equipment costs money and we want to try and look after them as much as possible. So keep them clean, keep them tidy, put them back in the bag when you're done with them because then you're always set and ready to go. Weapons, uh, this is a really good one. Now, weapons don't really require much maintenance at all, really. Okay, so um, most weapons you can just pretty much look after and just put them away. If they fit in your bag, great. If they don't have a carry case or something for them, very, very important. If you're cleaning them down, again, antibacterial products are the best. Please don't try to use any abrasive cleaners or anything like that. Um, things like grip tape on camera, um, that will degrade over time. So every so often you may need to replace or replenish that, and we can do that for you here. When it comes to nunchaku, if you have the um, chain-based versions, you will need to make sure the um, bearings stay lubricated. So you'll need to make sure you have a, um, a grease-style lubricant in those to make sure it keeps them from getting damaged and wearing down too fast. Other than that, it's just a matter of cleaning them up and making them look nice. Now, one of the things you can do is if, if they're metallic, you can use that glass cleaner. That's a really good way of cleaning them and making them look nice and shiny without using anything that's going to damage the actual metal. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Keep them in the enclosed space, so like keeping them in a carry case or the or your bag. Okay. The other thing is obviously because they're weapons, don't just put them outside for everyone to see. Weapons shouldn't be out in the public. Okay, that's actually illegal. So train them with them here. Make sure you um, carry them in a case between the car and get into here, and make sure you keep them indoors unless you're practicing them at home. But if you do, make sure it's in your front or back garden, never outside in the public. And that's it for how, um, how to look after your martial arts stuff. So any questions, always just get in touch with us. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time.